What's up guys? My name is Zan Prez and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is an insane one. We do so much stuff in this video. This video, what I'm mainly doing is I will be generating a bunch of Supreme Star amulets trying to get that perfect red Supreme Star amulet which has both passives on it of Scorching Star and Star Saw. But the passives are extremely hard to get, it's really hard to get double passives, and it's even harder to get the combination of those two. So this is the second video in my series that I'm going to start of hunting for this amulet. So today I'm planning on spending around a trillion honey, unless I get it earlier, then I'll stop then. But yeah, I'd say my goal for this video, for sure, is to make sure I replace my current amulet that I have because it's really not that great. It's a Guiding Star and Scorching Star amulet, but it doesn't give me a lot of red pollen, so I'm for sure gonna be switching over to a passive even if it just has Scorching Star and no other passive. I just want a better amulet that gives me more instant conversion and more red pollen. So. That'll be my first priority. Stay tuned for the end of this video where I defeat my level 19 and level 20 snow bear thanks to Super Roblox 04 and his friends. It was absolutely insane. So make sure to stick around to the end till so you guys can see that. And stay tuned here for a video where I turn in the Bubble Boom Man quest because I have officially finished the Bubble Boom Man quest. It finally happened. I never thought that this day would come. So yeah, let's get into generating these Supreme Star Amulets and see if we can get lucky.
All right, guys. Well, that definitely did not go quite as planned. I was definitely hoping to be able to get the amulet within a trillion honey, but you know, that's just not realistic all the time. And I totally get that. I want to say, I hope you guys are much luckier than I am if you guys are going after a Supreme Star Amulet for your certain color hive, or maybe you're not quite at that stage in the game yet, but when you are, I certainly do hope that you're much luckier than that. Thankfully, when I complete the Bubble Bee Man quest, which I have now finished thanks to Super Roblox 04 and his friends helping me take out my level 20 Snow Bear, um, I will get a trillion honey from completing that reward, so I'll have a little bit more honey in case I need to spend that to try and re-roll my amulet more times and get a perfect red double passive amulet. So that might not even be realistic for a long time, but I certainly hope that, you know, things, things get better um, because when I claim my honey day boost where it's two times pollen, I really hope that I can have a good amulet for that. But thankfully, while I was doing all that, I picked up a really good red amulet with Scorching Star, and it had a bunch of red pollen and instant conversion and critical chance and ability rate. So I'm really happy with that. I'm glad I was able to at least pick something up. I think that's definitely better than my previous amulet that had Scorching Star and Guiding Star, even though it wasn't a double passive. But right here is me defeating my level 19 Snow Bear. This one was relatively easy compared to the level 20 Snow Bear because most of Super Roblox 04's bees are level 18, but we had a couple other people there which made it pretty easy to defeat this level 19. Plus we were using stingers and some people had star saw, so that made it much easier to defeat this guy. And then pretty soon here, I'll show you guys a clip of me defeating my level 20 snow bear, which was so crazy. We actually managed to defeat around three of these level 20 snow bears using no level 20 bees, except we did summon a level 20 honeybee from using the honey day wreath, but those were the only level 20 bees that we had and we managed to take it out using mostly level 15 bees actually. And of course, super, uh, super Roblox's bees, which are all level 18. So he definitely did the majority of the damage, but it was great to see a bunch of other people being able to finish their Bubble Bee Man quest finally, because defeating these level 20 snow bears is so is extremely hard. But just this shows you guys, if you really want to complete your Bubble Bee Man quest and you're pretty close, you don't necessarily need a bunch of level 20 bees to defeat your level 20 snow bear. You really only need a bunch of people with star saw using stingers, maybe a jelly bean buff here and there, and you probably could defeat it with a bunch of level 17s, 16s, 15s, and probably at least a level 18 vicious bee. So this is that clip right there. It's really awesome. At the end of this, once you defeat your level 20 snow bear, a lot of you guys probably know this, but you get a free diamond tiara bee quip, which is so cool because that's a really great bee quip to be able to pick up, especially if you're a blue hive. So would strongly recommend getting that if you can defeat your level 20 snow bear and equipping that. But thank you guys so much for all the support on my videos recently. It really means so much to me. And thank you so much to Super Roblox 04 and his friends. Make sure to go check out his channel. It'll be linked in the description as well as his Roblox profile. And yeah, that's going to be about it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.